everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Hard Space Shipbreaker. I hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm, I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to remind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because here's some more Shipbreaker. Uh, I'm still getting over being sick, but I wanted to get some more videos out for you guys and I wanted to play this some more so it kind of works out. Uh, last episode, we went through the tutorials, um, uh, two phases of that, and, and got uh, up to rank three now. And uh, now we've got to go ahead and make our way to the up equipment screen and go ahead and just get on with it. Uh, what does they want us to do? Do we want us to upgrade, I guess, the grapple? And they want us to get tethers now. Thank God. Purchase upgrade tethers. Yeah, Check. Repeat after me, Cutter. Tethers are your friends. Tethers are your friends. Let's select your next ship and head out into the yard to try them out. Will do. I'm excited. All right, let's get back. Let's go to start shift. Let's go ahead and view catalog and the Pandora nine a mackerel uh and this is a training level okay gotcha 10 4 we're still training then okay all right cutter this here mackerel is stripped down but there's still plenty there for us to sink our teeth into such as how we're going to deal with the pressurized area but before we get into all that let's try out your tethers all right your tethers i have a thousand of them longer than the line on your grapple Use them when you're trying to move objects that are much heavier than you are. Also, tethers stack, meaning the more you use, the stronger the pull you get out of them. If you put them in the right place, that is. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so pretty much tethers, you use your grapple, hold right, press right click to place it, and then oh, to start it, and then right click to where you want it to go, or vice versa, it'll pull loose objects towards the end that is actually locked down. Now, let's go ahead. They want us to salvage the twin and the cells. Are these on the inside? Let's find out by using this. Nope, they're right here. All right, this will be easy enough. So let's do this. Bam. And then go underneath it, go to our grapple. And this goes to the barge. So we'll do one down. And we'll do two of them. We'll just, since we have thousands of them, it might as well just go crazy with it. There you go. And we're salvaging a twin uh, nacelle. Nice work, Cutter. Like <laughs> I said, tethers are your friends. Once you get the hang of them, yep. you can get pretty creative with how you use them. Yep. <laughs> All right. Now for the fun stuff. And when I say fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. Incredibly dangerous, heard. Next, we're going to learn about pressurization. Yes. According to Lynx, decompression events are the number one cause of death. And as a result, clone it. All right. Let's open up your scanner and see what we see. All right. Let's see if we can crack into this ship without making her pop. See that airlock over there? Let's go check, check it out. out. Yep, we're going to press F on the airlock door. Now. Cycling. Airlock pressure levels dropping. 10-4. Let's get inside. Let's close the door. Using airlocks is always a good idea, but there may be times later when you encounter ships without functioning airlocks. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Well, this cut. thing is stripped down already. Now, let's get inside. We're inside. All right, let's see if there's a way to depressurize this sucker so we can get to work on it. Look for an atmosphere regulator. You mean this? If it's working, this device will let us depressurize the room safely. You don't want to trigger a violent decompression, believe me. Okay. So yeah, these are in here, and when it's blue, it's activated. The thing about it, too, is in sometimes separate rooms on larger ships will have be de depressurized or pressurized. So it's kind of like a puzzle or a risk management thing. Like, if you're in a big ship with a large cargo hold... You don't want that to depressurize into a smaller room. You don't have the small room depressurize into the cargo hold. That way you don't get crushed by huge boxes and die. Now that we said that, let's go ahead and hit this up. Alrighty. I'm lighting up your work order with the rest of the objectives for this ship. And opened it up. Uh, look at the reactor. Okay, we're going to do that in a second. Is there anything floaty timing in here? Nothing floaty timing. Okay, cool. So this is the reactor back here. Let's look at it. There she is, the reactor. That's your meal ticket right there, Cutter. All right, this one's pretty easy. She should just slide out of her coolant casing with a good yank from your grapple. 
But before you do that, it's always a good idea to clear a path for her straight to the barge, because once you pull it, she starts melting down. And when it comes to reactors, you never know how many ticks you got till she goes boom. All right. The way you complete your work orders from here on out is entirely up to you. Let's show Lynx so Weaver still knows how to turn worms into shipwrecks, all right? Good luck, Cutter. Weaver out. All right, usually when I'm doing like a higher end ships, uh, this is on a different profile. When I, I've got, I'm at like 900 million owed now on the other profile. Um, I like to clear off any exterior stuff first and then I work on the work orders and then I take whatever else. Also, if there's any big pieces in the way like panels and stuff, I immediately try to dispose of them. Since we have unlimited tethers right now though, let's go and get rid of this nascent here first because it's right here waiting for us. I guess we can use the double thing again. Actually, I didn't even have to go down here. I could just have used from the top and pull it right down. So that's taken care of. Do we have any other exterior stuff? No, we do not, except for the thruster in the back. Um, I guess we could try to take that out now. It's, since the chamber is depressurized, we should be clear to remove the thruster. Salvage secured. So Ready does this have, can I just rip this one off or does it have cut points? It does have cut points. The yellow there are cut points. So we're gonna go ahead and chop out the back. And this back piece here, pull you off. And it says it wants to go on the processor, so we're gonna just go ahead and do that. Not that way, over a little bit, there we go. Up over a little bit, over a little bit, there, 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 there you go, okay, cool. And, oh, there's no thruster in it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, they did strip this thing down, really. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start moving panels real quick. I usually like to have the tops and bottoms open, except for the reactor part. The reactor part, I just pull off the bottom, but it's pretty quick and simple, especially since there's nothing else in here to worry about exploding or imploding. So we'll just go ahead and do this whole row here. And we're gonna, we definitely want the bottom out from below the uh, reactor so we can just yank it straight down. Now, when you're doing this with a with ship with clutter in it, like uh, soft cargo, can catch on fire if it's too closed. You can make flammable uh, or coolant, uh, which bottles or barrels explode, canisters, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a lot of different things to watch out for: piping, coolant piping, fuel piping, uh, just a whole bunch of different things. So we'll go into the top one, except for the reactor. And these are lights are on these roofs, but I don't really care about that. Like, there's a that time value thing I talked about in another series. Why is that not? I'm not close enough. There's time value. So, like, the amount of time it takes to take these off and throw them down. I just blew myself up. Cutting tool are I wasn't paying attention. I'm fired. <laughs> Generate excess of paperwork. Usually, I'm a lot more careful than this, but uh, because I'm just blabbing away. But yeah, time value is super important. So like the amount of time it takes to like do that and that, I could have already like started ripping off larger parts. The nanocarbon panels are usually are usually worth a good amount of money. Uh, the metal's okay, and then there's other pieces you'll find that are worth even more money. And it's it's like you know why spend time on the same ship when you could go ahead and start another ship and get even more parts unless you really like getting those lighting pieces. This part of the work order though, that's a different story. So we'll just go ahead and since we have unlimited tethers, might as well just go. We can actually tether them to each other too. Okay, let's put a second one in here. Screw it. Processing Get pulled. I don't usually tie these together because yeah, if you get if the way the the tether's facing, it, it could just pop right off. So we're just gonna go ahead and tether you to the ceiling. Is it gonna hit it? Uh, probably. There we go. Whoa! Watch out for that. Let's go over there. All right. Get over there. Get there. We go right over there. That works for me. All right. So we have the floor taken out. I guess we can go ahead and rip out the reactor now. And this is what I like, even with the larger reactors, is have that clear shot straight to the barge. And we'll just rotate. Let's go over. Let's go up, and yank this bad boy out, shall we? Back up a little bit so I don't get hit with that. All right. This should be good enough. Let's go. And face straight down and shoot it. Simple. Easy peasy. I'm going to finish off the ship with the time. Oh, we don't have time. Are we good? Does it want me oh, it just wants to go ahead and enter the hab. Okay, we'll just go ahead and enter the hab then. Because since this this isn't... This is still training. We'll go ahead and do the next ship, though. We should be able to go ahead and start that up. So we're going to go to the hab now. Let me get over there and we'll get inside.
All right, we hit rank four. We're now a beginner. Congratulations, Shipbreaker. Your hard work has not gone unnoticed. You have achieved the prestigious rank of beginner. License upgrades. Now we can do modular laser cutting upgrades, uh, handheld utility grapple upgrades, thruster upgrades, uh, cross spectrum scanner, he helmet. Okay, so pretty much all of them have basic upgrades. And we made a, a little bit of money. That's not too bad. Uh, once we start getting charged, our daily charges, uh, we lose about half a million each 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 shift. So we always try to make at least that much or more. Good morning. Let's go to our equipment. We have 300 points to spend. Uh, this gives us a new... I actually would rather have it have more heat capacity to start with, but let's... I'd rather actually go... Can we get more oxygen yet? We can. Let's get more oxygen capacity to start off with here. That way, we don't have to go get refills as often. That's one thing that they got to start worrying about. Um, we only have 125 left. I don't think there's anything we can buy for 125. I think everything's at the minimum 150. That'll be the next thing is get more speed out of this. Yeah, so I, we, we pretty much have to go ahead and start a shift. So let's view a ship catalog. Let's get something brand new, speckin' new on this. They're all easy. Let's see here. That looks pretty good. I think we'll go uh, the nebulous Mimas carrier. Let's do it. Mimas. Let's go. All right, Cutter. 15 now minutes, 10 tethers. Training. You're only about a billion credits away from paying off your debts and length. I know the thought of making 10,000 credits, let alone a billion, sounds impossible right now. But I can assure you it is within your reach if you put in the work. You've got the DNA to be a great salvager. I do. Literally. Your report here says your blood work confirmed ideal genetic makeup, physique, intelligence, and so psychological profile for the position of shipbreaker. I'm guessing that means Link thinks you're less likely We're to not gonna waste tethers. Up. Let's see if they're on to something. Complete your work order. Let's push them down. Go to the other side. When you're ready for another ship. And careful with that reactor. One false move and you're a goner. And this, oh, oh my god, I'm so used to having more rage. <laughs> Good luck, Cutter. Alright, get this one down. Get down the hole. Slide it over just a little bit. Go this way some, please. Oh, I don't have as strong as a as a grappler. There we go. Okay, cool. We're good. All right. That looks like that's the entire exterior of things. I don't, you don't want to remove the thruster until you depressurize the inner chamber because the thruster is kept inside. So what it does is depressurize the whole thing and it'll blow up in your face. Pretty, well, pretty much. And you don't want that to happen because that, that sucks. Also, we're on the 10 lives profile. So if we die 10 times, the game's over. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Thank you so much. I'm going to go inside. Thank you so much. Airlock pressure levels increasing. All right. It looks like we have some fuel in here. Um, we have more fuel. There's seats in here. There's a repair kit. We'll grab that. I'm going to need that next time. Um, nothing else up here. So let's go ahead and hopefully this is pressurized. It is. What's this? Oh, we have a data drive. Okay. And audio data. Here is the machine. The machine is gone. Do you understand? Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't think you do. Here is man. All mankind. Spreading out. Spreading. 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 Like roots of a tree through endless stars. <laughs> and there is the machine. The machine is going to stop the roots. The growth. The machine will identify <laughs> us as minds in one body, a body that cannot age or grow or die. We will experience eternity in an instant and last until the end of the universe. Do you understand? The machine is what we become. I know this because I am a messenger. Okay. An angel. Okay. Did you know that? Yes. Angels are messengers, so I must be an angel. <laughs> An angel for the machine that is God. <laughs> that is what I am. I am here to join you to the machine. Okay, I'm not gonna play any more of those. I think because I'm so we talk so much. Oh, I can't reach from here. All right, let's push these out. 
So we have some room. Okay, I don't have enough powerful thruster to do it. All right, fine. We'll do the roof next. I have to be really careful with that. That will explode. So we're just trying. I'm trying to stay as far away from it with my beams as I can, but still disassemble what we need to disassemble. Uh, and there's the fuel tank right there too. So and that's our thruster fuel. So we can actually you actually get free refills like that repair kit we got. That's a free repair kit for uh, when you're done when your shift. There's also oxygen bottles you can get too. Yeah, I, I'm used to having more thrusters. I wonder if I can slide kind of under here and get the floor out as well while we're here. Rotate, rotate, and I have a light with four. It's not helping really. There it is right there. Gotta get that tie. Let's go over this one, get this uh, chair out of the way. What is our work orders? We need nanocarbon metal, power cell, and the reactor. Okay, we're gonna try to, I, I don't know, with the lower grade upgrades right now, it's gonna be harder to actually get this thing done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside since I can't really reach um, and I don't have enough power. Usually I'll just push those out of the way. All right, so with my thrusters, now we're just gonna pull them out. That one's ready to go. Come on, baby, get out of there. There we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pump you into there. That should be good enough. Let's get the other one over there. Come on. It's funny how good the controls get eventually once you upgrade your thrusters and stuff. Uh, we have another one, but that's the front. That's the back here. We gotta get that one out too. I thought I cut it out. Oh, it's probably still attached. Did I miss? Oh, I didn't get them all. There we go. I thought I got that one. Apparently I did. Get up, there we go. Let's go ahead and shoot you over. There we go. Those are done. Let's get the roof out now. Uh, we're at nine minutes. Uh, oxygen is holding okay. Let's go here. No reason to flip around just yet since we're just kind of in zero G anyway. Get in that one. They're, oh, get down. Get down. It flipped up. Uh, there we go. Please be close enough. It is. Pull this one out. It's still attached. I missed a spot. I can tell I'm not on top of my game today. It's right there. There we go. Uh, we're almost done with the nanocarbon needs, but we're going to try and get as much of it out as we can. If I can get this all the main work orders done in one shift, that would be great. There we go. I'm not using tethers yet, which I probably could make it a little bit easier. But since I only have 10, I really don't feel like that's really a good option. All right, let's shoot this down. Move this out of my way. Have a little more room to work with. There we go. All right, time to get this reactor out now. Thank you very much. We finished the nanocarbon. Okay, right there. This is where we're gonna go. Let's grab you and push, shoot you straight down. Peace out, reactor. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty simple. All right, we can probably do the thruster next, but we're gonna go get these ties out first. We gotta get that power cell. It's on the side. I'm so used to having more cutter temp. And then right there. And go and get the ceiling out too. We're at eight minutes left. Oxygen is going to be getting low soon. Let's get handle the thruster and then get some more oxygen. Can we just yank this one out? There's no ties on it, so we can just yank it out. There we go. Go back over a little bit and let me shoot you in the hole. Make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your own too. I know. I know. I know. I know. We're good, man. We're good. Thanks. Get down there. All right, cool. All right, now we'll go grab some oxygen. And the back end looks like it's clear. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and tether that thing out of here. And get you there. There we go. Time to get some oxygen. We got plenty, man. We're pl we're good to go. I wish my thrusters were quicker. Nice. Let's continue over. All right, this is the oxygen screen here, or the, the bike screen. I'm going to buy a couple repair kits, four of them, and then we'll buy some mode two. Oxygen level stabilizing. 
There we go. So we got O2, we got the reactor done, we got the nanocarbon done, uh, we have some repair kits. That's five of them total because we get that one free one from inside the ship. And now it's time to go ahead and break into the sides. It takes forever to get to the ship without upgraded thrusters. This is crazy. All right, let's go to the back end. Oh, we have this top to get rid of too. I forgot about that. This might flip, so I'm going to pull it up a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. All right, the back end's over here. Uh, we got to take care of this flammability right here. Uh, let me just grab it all, the whole thing out. I don't really care about the pipes. As long as that goes down into the barge, we'll be good. These things will blow up quick. All right, so let's get all the ties done. Usually the side with the hatch is not the side that you need, but we started over here, so might as well do this. And usually if you're good, you can kind of squeeze through the top. There we go. And sometimes there's coolant hiding in here, so you have to be careful. Like that. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I'm happy I remembered that. All right, we get, if we go completely flush against the ground here, we should be okay not blowing up the coolant. Good stuff. And I'm not powerful enough to throw this front end out. That sucks. All right, let's get back out and hit up the other side real quick, and then we'll start ripping off the sides. We have eight tethers left. With I know, I know. We got this. We got this. Just calm down. Calm down, Weaver. Bite, bite, I'm biting everything. That has the power cell. There's the power cell. We need that. Wait for it to cool off a little bit. Okay, get this one. And then we'll get this one. Oh, we have coolant in here too. Great. I just have to be real careful. And go up, don't angle it because your beam might cross the path of the coolant which in turn will blow it up and it'll freeze stuff and ruin the carbon and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. All right, front end, all the sides are disassembled except for the hatch. I'm not worried about the hatch. It's going to grapple out and start pulling these things in. And I try to space them like kind of decently sized out from the, where they're at uh, from the next one so they don't cut each other's tethers off. Once we'll you up top. Actually, I, should, I probably should have done the other one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're, we don't, we're not rich yet. We're not rich yet. Oh, it's going to break that tether, isn't it? We should be fine. This should be fine. It should be pull it quick enough. Pull, oh, it broke it. It broke. Are you serious? It's going to waste the tether. Right there. Pull it. All right, we'll get the other side. Actually, let's get this coolant out. Don't move it too much. There we go. Got a little excited there. And then let's get this power cell out. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. And if you get that, if you get that too close to you, it'll blow up. It'll, it'll electrocute you. I'm sorry, it'll electrocute you. All right, we've got three minutes left on the ship. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these panels out of the way. To bottom right there, we'll do you here at bottom left. Oh, we'll do upper right. How about that? That way we have enough room for the back end tether to go in there, no problem. And just assemble it nice and clean, clean and simple. And that's all our tethers. All right, what else do we have? We have mechanical stuff in here we can grab, like the switches and whatnot. I'm saving that for last-ish. So let's grab you out of here. Oops, I just hit it. That's not good. Let's grab you. Let's get you out of here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab this one. The front end, we can take the, the computer systems out too. That's, oh, God dang it. I just got hit. Did I get it down? Did it go away? Did it blow up? Where'd it go? Uh, I think it's down there in the bottom and disintegrated. Too bad. We didn't need it. Let's grab this fuel because I'm low. Oh, there's fire right there. That's the problem. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I was wondering what the heavy breathing was from. Maybe he's just having a tough day. I don't know. Let out. Shoot it down. Okay, get rid of you real quick. You cannot break while you're in the middle of pulling something off, too, I noticed. So you need to break if you plan to before you start pulling, or you're just going to keep drifting, too. All right, let's get rid of this chair. Oh, that was on a chair. Oh, don't get too close to it. Get too close. We don't need that. All right, there we go. 
It, it hit up the mechanical switch, I think. It's 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 electric. Is it just arcing still? No. Get that. Oh, it's arcing again. Get you out of the way. Let's actually hit the chair this time. Come on, come on. Okay, that's done. Let's grab you. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Ooh, that was kind of. I don't want to break those up. They'll, they'll they'll explode. That's not good. Let's get a nice clean out on here. Salvage secured. One minute left, Cutter. There we go. And there was a switch in there. We can grab you. Pull that in. There we go. Nice. And there's a couple storages left. I guess we can grab those. I feel like those are worth more than the chairs. I forgot to check. I don't care about chairs, especially later on when you start getting into the transports that have like 20 of them. I just I just throw them in the, the furnace. And I'm selling the metal. Uh, but that's everything, so I might as well just spend a couple seconds to do that. Come on! What? Oh. There we go. And we could take the metal and sell it too, but uh, the amount of cutting we have to do with that versus just doing this real quick, I, I would rather do that right now just because there's so many of them. Which I just contradict to myself what I do. But on the other ships, with their bigger ships, there's large pieces of metal that are easily removed and put away. And that's seven seconds, six seconds, and that is the ship. We could have cut the front end off and dragged it in, but... Oh, crap. There we go. Look at that. Almost 2.5 million buckaroos right there, buddy. Antenna, 54,000. The engine right there, two of them, 150. The panel, see how much the panel's worth? That's a big chunk of the money there, other than the reactor. Uh, reactor plate itself, ugh, it's not really all that, but... Um, there's a reactor right there, 500. So it was actually the class one reactor and the panels that we did are pretty much the big boys. Uh, where's the storage at? Storage bins, 96. And there is the, uh, the computer terminals. That was worth some money there in doing that. The thrusters worth it. And then people were in the streams were talking about how much the chairs were worth. Where's the furniture stuff? Antenna, coolant, power cell, atmosphere, door locks, uh, computer terminals, light, equipment, door console. I don't even, I must have missed it seat 11 eh it's okay for the amount of time that i had to do that i could have gotten more panels cut off or whatever on bigger ships for that smaller one that works out but yeah i don't really care uh just we, we destroyed that door console got direct from throwing it uh equipment mount were part of some of the walls attached to it i don't really care about and the lights are cheapo so that's not too bad of a deal good morning we got 282 points, and there's the cost. So our interest goes down as time goes by. You can also end up buying your thrusters, suit, scanners, helm, all, all the tools you use. You can end up buying those, which right there, that's 60,000, 90,000, 115. Um, uh, 100, there's the grapple. There, uh, that's like over 200. So you can pull off about 340,000 buckaroos in time once you unlock the ranks to purchase it. Because right now, most of it's behind a, a uh, gating. There's a purchase at level 10. The grapple, we can buy at 9. Thrusters are 6. Scanners at 7. Helmets at 6. Suit is at 8. Now, we do have some cash flow. Um, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and just pick up the thruster speed. And then later, we'll get the capacity, fuel capacity. Once you get a full, that larger capacity, it really it really goes crazy. It's really not that bad. We're going to go and repair our cutter. And there we go. And that is the time we have for the day. Hope you guys are liking what you see. I do enjoy the game a lot. Again, it's like a puzzle game with like RPG qualities to it. And I, and I like that. Uh, in set in space with some high danger stakes and stuff like that, especially with the mode that we're playing in. And you can see up here, oh, we have 30 lives. We can have, we can be getting redone. So there you go. Anyway, let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so very much. And you guys have a good night.